Hello friends, welcome back. I am starting a new series here, Real-Time Operating System. We will learn everything about the ATAS with practical examples and this is the session 1 of the entire series. This is going to be very interesting and this is an important area as well. I am sure you will love it. Let's get into the content straight away and it's going to be very interesting. What's the learning all about? We will learn what ATAS is and it is not the same as general purpose operating system. You are using the operating system in your Windows machine or your Apple Mac machine. That's not the one that we are talking about. We are talking about real-time operating system and that's definitely different. We will also learn the usage of free ATAS and that will be very easy for you to understand and we will have a fun ride for sure. Well, what is an operating system? We need to understand this first before we get into real-time operating system. An operating system is a software, system software, which manages computer hardware, software resources and provide all the common services for computer programs. To put it in a very simple way, it is a resource manager which manages the resources very nicely. This is the simplest way somebody can define operating system. Operating system is a resource manager that manages all the resources very nicely. Operating system can run on a computer or a microcontroller and operating system is inevitable and you cannot avoid it. Well, a lot simpler version of definition is required right now. An operating system is like BOSS for a computer. It is a software, as I told you, that manages all the programs and parts of the computer, telling them what to do and when to do it as well. It handles tasks like running the software, managing the memory, controlling the input output like your keyboard, screen, printer or any other peripherals which are attached to it and ensuring that everything works smoothly all together. In the simplest way to convey it, it's the main software that lets you interact with your computer and make sure that everything runs very, very smooth. And you are able to use your computer very nicely because of an operating system being there. Now, what is GPOS? GPOS is General Purpose Operating System. It refers to an operating system that is designed to be used for a wide range of applications and tasks. It is not just for one task, it is designed to use for wide range of application and tasks. GPOS is really very versatile and it is capable of handling various types of software and user needs. Simple example of GPOS could be your Windows machine, your Mac OS and various distributions of Linux like Ubuntu and they are designed to serve general computing needs of a wide range of users and applications. You can open a Word document, type, store, you can make a video, you can run an application software over it, so the applications are really wide range. And if you are performing a task, there can be some delay, but delay is okay here. You won't find delay as an issue here and it will not pose any challenge or threat to you. For instance, you are typing something in a Word document in a Windows machine. Whatever you type, if it is appearing after a few seconds, it is not going to do any harm for you and that is okay. So this is called as general purpose operating system and they help you in performing wide range of tasks and applications for you. What is RTOS? An RTOS is a real-time operating system. It is not like general purpose operating system and RTOS is specifically designed to handle tasks. I repeat it, it is designed for specific purpose. RTOS is specifically designed to handle tasks that require precise timing and quick response times. An RTOS is often a lightweight operating system designed to run on a microcontroller or microcontrollers which offers all the services as required. So understand it is lightweight. It is not as heavy or hefty as your general purpose operating system and it is designed to provide you precise timing and quick response. And it is used in the scenarios where there is a need, definite need for immediate and deterministic responses to the events. The term real-time itself has to be defined carefully. Real-time is nothing but logical correctness of the operation within deterministic deadline. Logical correctness of the operation within deterministic deadline is called real-time. And real-time operating systems, when you are using, they are expected to provide you immediate and deterministic responses to the events. RTSs are most commonly used in embedded systems, industrial automation, robotics, aerospace, automotive systems, and most of the other applications where timing and predictability are real crucial. These systems need to respond to inputs or events within the specified time frame and that time frame would often be very stringent. So RTAS is going to give you responses 
with in time every time perfectly rs ensures that the tasks are executed within the deadlines offering real time responsiveness and rs manages tasks by prioritizing them based on urgency and executes them in a very timely manner and this provides the deterministic behavior where the timing of the task execution is predictable and very reliable you must have heard of some rs like prtas vxwork unix and artilinux please recollect all those we will be using prtas in the series where we will be learning a lot of stuff through prtas now i define real time already it is logical correctness of the operation within deterministic deadline and rtas will help you in meeting that deadline properly what is the agenda of this entire playlist we shall learn the core concepts of rtas and we shall also learn the usage of free rtos with which we will learn rtas contents very easily we will come back to you with the next content next video shortly where we will learn more things about rtas and until then it's bye from me if you have any questions suggestions please go ahead and type it in the chat section if you like the channel the content please subscribe thank you